Hey there, chameleons. It's Camille, and today I am bringing you part one of my new hair dye series, which is going to be how to strip out this red dye. As you guys see, I have this kind of orangey to red ombre. You saw the tutorial for this. You know what it is. And I just want to get rid of this color in the healthiest way possible for my curls. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And then later, next video, which will probably be tomorrow, I'm going to deal with these roots and bleaching my hair. But for now, let's get rid of this color. So I got this Solerm Color Reverse kit, which I've never used before and never seen before. But I went into a hair shop and the lady recommended it for me. And it was $15, so you know what, I decided to get it because I might as well try new things. And she said it was supposed to be non-damaging for your hair, which is the number one thing I look for. So I picked it up and I gave it a try for today to see how well it worked. It comes in two bottles, there's a step one and a step two. You just mix the two of them together and then it will activate and then you can start using it in your hair to strip out the colors. And I love how it's black and white, just like me. So you don't want to ruin your nice clothes. So you want to put on a t-shirt that you can get bleach and dye and all sorts of gunk all over. And I can't find my normal one, so I'm just wearing this tie-dye one because whatever. Now, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your weave, girl. <laughs> just kidding, this is my natural hair. But yeah, let's just take a gander at that. So now assemble your supplies. You'll need a mixing bowl that is non-metal, a brush, the steps one and two that I just showed you, and some latex gloves, and as you can tell, I've used these before when I did sort of a bluish color, but reduce, reuse, recycle, girl. Now I'm using this shot glass from Austin, Texas to measure out my ratios for the steps one and two. I use this because you wanna do equal ratios for each of the steps, and it's just a good way to measure out the exact same amount of each bottle, so I don't use too much or too little of each step. So for step one, I just squeeze it right above the word Austin. So I pour that into my mixing bowl and I do the same thing with step two, which is more of a white and the step one is a clear. So then you mix the two together with your little mixing brush and then you form a nice solution that will be used for your hair. Now you wanna put on your gloves and protect your hands with these chemicals. Now don't smell the mixture because it smells horrible. It smells similar to a mixture I've used before to strip my hair, a little bit weaker I'd say, but it still smells so bad. You will want to cry if you get a good whiff of it. So I'm just going to start by doing some of my ends because they're kind of the darkest, but I'm just going to be running that mixture throughout my hair, just using my hands, no brush needed. This doesn't have to be super precise or anything because it does spread out easily. And I'm doing this on unwashed hair, which is recommended, and just kind of sectioning my hair out into pieces to make sure that each section that I do is completely saturated. And now I'm mixing a second batch because that wasn't enough for all of my head. Same ratio is about the same amount made, and this is going to do enough for the rest of my head. Um, not doing my roots because it's not going to do anything to the black. So you don't need to put it on, and I wouldn't want to risk damaging my virgin hair anyways, because it's not going to help with anything. So just put it on the colored parts of your hair, do it in sections, and then burst out into song when a good one comes on, because it's a long process, and you need to be listening to music to keep you occupied. <laughs> Back to business, though. Doing all the strands, making sure they're all saturated, and flipping them over my head when I'm done with them, just to organize everything. I'm gonna not waste because I hate wasting. So just get every little bit out of that little mixing bowl and put it in your hair. It will just make sure that you get more coverage, I guess. Just get everything nice and saturated so you can get out all of the color. Now I'm putting my hair up in a bun once everything is completely coated. This will just keep it out of your way. And then I'm putting a nice plastic bag on my head because do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? Because that's how I felt this day. Also, it helps trap in the heat and activate the chemicals and have it strip better. So there's that too. You want to set a timer for 20 minutes so then you know how long to keep it on. And then when you're done, rinse it out, wash it out, and it will look stripped. 
The lady did tell me it would take more than one round just because it's not super damaging. It's not like bleach or anything. So this is what it looked like after doing one treatment of the stripping. And it is lighter. Uh, in this shot, I really felt like Violet from The Incredibles, like with the hair over my eye. Anyways, it did strip a good amount. It looks lighter in person. But then there are sections of my hair that are less stripped out, like the red parts and the ends. So... I'm going to definitely focus on those for the second round because as you can see there is still more pigment in there. This is what my hair looks like when it dried and it looks sort of fluffy and stuff because I didn't put anything in it. I just wanted it to dry and that's why it looks kind of fluffy. But yeah, that's what it looks like. The top part is definitely more faded than the bottom. So we are about to do a round two to get this to where I need it to be for when I put in the new color. So now we're just going to do the same exact process. If you guys get it done in one round, then that's good for you. If you need two, three, however many you need, just do it until it's light enough. And we're just doing all the same stuff again. Same bun, same bag, same sass. And this is what it looks like after stripping the second time, which is mad light. The top is pretty much almost blonde. So I was really happy with these results. The lady did say it wasn't damaging, but my hair felt a little bit drier after, so I'm not exactly sure that's 100% true, but it definitely did a good job. So, tomorrow, I am going to show you guys how I bleach my hair the healthy way, and then we'll get on with the color the next day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have all the products linked down below, as well as my vlog and cooking channel, and I hope to see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.